With the NFL regular season right around the corner, we couldn't help but catch up with one of the big skies, very best former Montana State player, Montana State all-time great, actually, and current Atlanta Falcons linebacker, Troy Anderson. Troy, how are you, my friend? How's how's this summer going, preseason? Give me the full update. It's been good. It's been a long, tough camp. Um, pretty tired, but but ready for the regular season and excited to uh, to get going. What have you learned from from year one? What's your favorite part about the city that you're now uh, representing? I guess the thing I've learned about is bass fishing. I know nothing about that. Obviously, trout in Montana and Western Montana, but uh, gone out a little bit. We have a, a lake close by to our training facility. And go out there every once in a while and uh, get away from football. Um, they play golf year round here, which is impossible in Montana, which is, which is nice. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been, it's been a lot of fun kind of getting to know a new place and, uh, meet new people. So yeah, it's been great. Speaking of fishing, I loved the feature story documentary that the Falcons did on you, your family, your upbringing and Dylan, our guy Coy Steele made a little uh, special appearance in there. And I was talking to you about this before we did the interview. Did Coy catch more fish that day or did you? Well, full disclosure, I, we only caught one fish and it was Coy. We we're, but they're filming us and these people, I mean, they were from, they're from the South and they thought it was cold outside. So we didn't want to keep them out there too long. Um, so it wasn't a full fishing effort, but uh, yeah, Coy caught the one and only fish that we had that day. What was your favorite part from watching back that documentary between the interviews with your family, your coaches, all the way from when you were little to uh, your time with the Bobcats, um, your time growing up on the ranch. What was it? You know me a little bit. I don't, I, I didn't really watch the full thing. Um, I don't like watching myself or anything, whatever. Um, but I mean, it's, it's a cool thing to kind of shut shed light on the people that have helped me and brought me up you know my parents and just high school coaches college coaches everybody that's influenced my life and helped me get to where I am um, super appreciative to to who they are and what they've meant to me and what they continue to mean to me um, so I guess that, that that was that was pretty cool you said it's amazing to see the the progression you make from the first day of playing in the NFL to the very end of the season what is that one improvement that that you noticed yourself making throughout the year that you eventually accomplished by the end of year one? I think, I mean, they throw you into the fire pretty quick and, um, you know, you're trying to learn a new playbook and just get that dialed down. But by, you know, once you, once you understand that, then it's just what offenses are trying to do to us and it changes week to week, um, you know, offensive coordinators schemes and what quarterbacks can do and what they, they major in and specialize in and just, um, have a lot of time to to hone in on you know what they can and can't do and what they like to do tendencies first down second down third down um you know down and distance type stuff and just uh learning that and then applying it on game day was something that I think I got better at and am always continuing to try to do you also mentioned you're excited to get to work this year and improve that much more in year two. What What is that one thing that you're really honing in on, especially this preseason? Continuing education, I guess, is, is always as, as it is in football. Uh, you know, working on the physical side of it with tackling and just where to place your eyes. Um, and then the mental side as well, you know, how to how to play better man coverage technique and um, technique taking on blockers and just I guess everything that comes with with football always trying to improve one guy that's kind of your right hand man this season is Caden Ellis and um, he wasn't necessarily playing in the big sky most of the time when he was at Idaho but you guys do share that similarity in that sense um, do you do you remember going up against him in the short time that he played in the big sky for the Vandals? No, I remember him. I, I told him like the, one of our first conversations I was playing, it was that year that I played quarterback and he was playing DN and he just like wrecked the game. He like knocked down the first like four or five passes I threw. I was like, this is ridiculous. I, you know, I didn't, I didn't throw very many passes anyway. <laughs> so the ones that he, I did throw, he, he, you know, he affected, um, but yeah, it's been awesome to get to know Caden and play next to him. 
Uh, I'm excited for the year and it should be fun. What's one thing that that you you think that you both have in common in terms of what you took from your time of playing at this this type of collegiate level before making it pro? Prove yourself. Prove that you're you know where you're we're able to play at this level and and deserve to be here. Um, proved our coaches and teammates every day. Um, proved to ourselves and the people that have you know believed in us. Um, and just you know going out and, and doing it and have having fun while while doing it and represent the big sky conference in the the western u.s i guess a little bit you're absolutely representing the big sky conference especially at mercedes-benz stadium uh come your season opener against the carolina panthers what's your favorite part about playing in your home stadium it's crazy every time you walk in and you know the the roof is like a pedal that is retractable and um it's just i mean it's kind of crazy when you walk in there every time it's just big and um the home opener is going to be crazy it's always fun filled up there uh super loud for our defense which which helps out quite a bit um so yeah i mean we're we're looking forward to getting going one piece of advice that you would give student athletes and football players at the big sky level at the fcs level that you you wish you had prior to getting to the nfl the hard work is is worth it no matter what you know whether whether you take it to the next level or not just those um life lessons that you learn in college and and through the discipline of being on a team uh take the relationships seriously you know those they carry you forever uh met some of my best friends you mentioned coy you know rj all those guys um just cherish that and, and appreciate the time you have there and then yeah i mean just continue to always work and you know, we play a play a kids game for a living now, which is kind of crazy and unique and just never take it for granted. We are so proud of you here at the Big Sky. I know that they're proud of you in Bozeman and in the Treasure State as well. So very excited to watch you dominate in year two. Thanks. Appreciate it.